Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, thanks for Hero's invitation and thanks for having me today. Um, I'm very glad to uh, share my um, project uh, on decentralized scientific data and manuscript publishing uh, smart licensing platform. And I'm Jeffrey. I graduated from the University of Cambridge in the UK. And after my graduation, I launched this project uh, within my startup. And now the, the, the company is located in Cambridge. So everyone's welcome to uh, Cambridge in the future. If you have any chances to the UK, have a visit in the UK. And today I've prepared some small gift for you. And um, after this meeting, we can just collect it as with some t-shirts and notebooks and hope you will like it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's my presentation. So before doing that, I would like to give you my own story. So previously, I am a scientist related to semiconductor physics. It's more related to chips and, uh, and, and uh, silicon photonics. And this is my papers published in 2022. So if we look back, my research, what, what were my research generated? My research generated like four papers over 10K words and over 55 gigabase data and over 30 fig and charts and two patents. However, oh, this is my paper and um, uh, the, the, the results and outcomes. However, if we look back, what I got, I think I got like $20 champagne for a celebration, of course. But at the same time, I got like over 3,000 publishing cost bill, over 35 payment for accessing my own paper. This is very, 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 very ridiculous. And over 100% copyright transfer to others. This is not owned by me. So um, I will start to think, so why this happened? Why the, the mechanism looks like, hit, like this? So I would say like the current world is that researchers are free labors and still paying for the publishing fee of their own work. So that's why I try to um, build up the science sets. So the science sets builds um, based on blockchain and that enhances the information flows and ensure that researchers are fairly recorded and rewarded uh, for the life cycle of their contributions because that is the feature of blockchain. So um, we launched the science at Ra, the Egyptian god, as the first decentralized scientific repository platform around the world. So our teammates from the backgrounds from the U the Cambridge, the UCL, the University of Monash, the uh, University of Bath, and the Centre National de Recherche Scientifique and National Australia Bank. So now we have and we involved over seven full-time employees, and now we raised over one million dollars. So, yeah, that's our company's profile. And so, what is Science Bra? So different from the previous one, we now uh, set a mechanism, and you will see from this animation. Uh, I will show you from the very beginning. I'm not sure. Oh, here. Okay. So uh, it's kind of like the very similar mechanism. Like they, uh, there will be like multiple uh, contributor, the authors we, we define here is author. When they contribute on the manuscript or any kind of research works and will be generated a, a, a fingerprints like the hash values and put it on blockchain. And any kind of accessing and any kind of the payments via these transactions will be flows back to the benefits. So at the same time, we will keep the records for the ownership, which means relates to your, your, your economic benefits. And at the same time, we will just keep the records on the accessing times where it relates to your reputational systems. So it's many, uh, it's, it's more similar to the current system like the impact factors because the impact factor is calculated with bundling a multiple papers together and generating a journal. And the journal value is, uh, is kind of like mathematical equations uh, get, the rip, get the final value. So that's the science at raw. But at the moment, we will not touch the profit for the publishing houses. It's just a repository. I will show you uh, our prototype. So. The science that's raw is transparent, trustworthy, and decentralized collaborative for science and research data repository. So let me show you the video uh, for our um, brief introductions about the, the, the science that's raw. 
just have four, hold for a second. I will give the uh, the voice, I think. Yeah, here. For years, scientists and researchers have faced major challenges, high publishing costs, no guarantee of profit or ownership, and a marketplace dominated by publishing oligopolists. Open access platforms were a step forward in the 1990s, but came with their own problems. Authorship confusion, plagiarism, copyright infringement, and pirates due to non-transparent networks. SciSets Raw, the world's first decentralized blockchain-based publishing system designed for scientific data and manuscripts. This is a transparent, trustworthy system to help scientists and researchers claim ownership and authorship of their discoveries. We generate proof of authorship and proof of ownership of your works on blockchain and broadcast the originality of the scientific work to each trusted node within the network. This mechanism ensures you can safely store data, control access, and effectively defend against attempts to remove, duplicate, or steal your own work. We allow all forms of articles to be published, with experimental results, codes, designs, or raw data being bundled into copyright non-fungible tokens as unblockable content. SciSets Raw enhances transparency reliably measuring how research is accessed, reproduced, and cited during its life cycle with more precise impact indicators evaluated. We also make it easier to receive compensation for licensing, copyrights, and royalties via different smart licensing options. SciSets Raw can generate proportional token proofs for all contributors to a piece of research, ensuring fair co-ownership and compensation according to relative contribution. We are here to revolutionize the publishing world. SciSets Raw. Value your digital assets. Okay, this is a brief introduction about our first products more based on the decentralized publishing and uh, uh, data sharing platform. So um, I, I will give you some very brief demo, but I will show you about the website for this protocol. So now our login system is dual modes. Uh, we accepted the MetaMask as a Web3 wallet. And um, of course, this very traditional uh, social credentials with like the, uh, your, 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 your Google accounts, your Twitter, your Instagrams, or your Discord. And if you go inside, um, we compatible with the seamless integration with over 100K research institute. And you can just uh, identify your um, your, your, your identities for uh, uh, via the Aura CID and the seamless access. So now we're trying to integrate the seamless access, but uh, Aura CID has been successful integrated in the in platform. Um, yeah, and um, if you start a new submission, it looks very similar to the, um, the, 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 the print prints, like the archive systems, but um, the different things from the right side that you, you need to flexibly um, uh, uh, like completes the, the, the forms with a, a certain amount of the ownership, which is slightly different from the current, uh, 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 current platform and current system. But if you, once you've finished uh, replying this and your papers will be uh, minted as an NFT tokens on blockchain. So at the same time that your ownerships will be kept on, on that smart contract and uh, um, your uh, like the paper is kind of like the sub uh, a lot of sub tokens inside with the access token with the uh, the license token. Uh, so every time when you download it, the Web two system as accessories will keep the records of that. So that by doing this, that the, the platforms will become like more trans transparent. So that is. Um, what we can do is to trace the life cycle of the valuable uh, innovation. Um, our next phase of this product will just involve the peer review comments and uh, and the day, um, the reference and citation, which will just keep the records on blockchain as well, just to form a very clear uh, shape and diagrams for 
uh, all the of the publication and research works are very bundled related to uh, the previous edition and you can keep again and again updated on blockchain so that it's the the main system so i think i've gave you a very uh, unique and uh, distinctive uh, features here but uh, i will show maybe i will show you via the web website that looks more uh, obvious i think so give me give me one second let me uh, just open the okay this is our main page oh for a second, I th yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, it's uh, it's very simple. So R A. You can type it R A. Dot U A T. Dot sciencesets. Dot com. Yes. Dot com. Yes. Oh, I think you. And um, I might need my computer because uh, I have the mask. Yeah, uh, I'll show, show, show the screen here. Can you hear? Can you see that? Okay, great. So yeah, that's our uh, main page. And you will see uh, our community has already uploaded a few different papers on site. And um, yeah, we, we already distinct, uh, we separate and refined manuscript by discipline, uh, by the subdomains and domains and the different affiliation. But um, yeah, so uh, if we click inside, for example, uh, search on one, this is uh, a, a, a research relates to the, this, the engineering things about the optical communication. So um, now, because now we are in the prototype version, so you will see like, uh, uh, different uh, authors and different uh, owners with the uh, university and with research institutions and uh, a, a certain amount of proportion. And if you access the manuscript from here, you may need to, because now our, our systems is like definitely free with open access, uh, but this kind of um, an accessing and the loading behaviors will be recorded uh, on a back end. So, um, I think uh, maybe I need to share the the whole screen instead of the window. So wait a moment uh, right here, I think. Right. Yeah, you will com communicate with the wallet address and then sign it. And the papers will be successfully downloaded. Yeah. Okay, so this kind of things is for for downloading the paper, for accessing the paper, is uh, it's definitely free. Uh, if you if you if you want to go log in, for example, uh, here, um, so let me use the MetaMask instead, and you can submit your paper here. So we go inside, and we fill the the right things uh, in domains and subdomains, and uh, and and the relative title, for example and abstracts and keywords. And then we go to next stage. And here you, you can upload your manuscript covers uh, relates to maybe, for example, you, um, my subjects it relates to chips, um, semiconductors. And I, I can just upload a paper, for example, give a sample. And agreed with the condition. So now it's uh, bundled data. Yeah, if you have any data support, your figures and chats, you can just enclose it inside because all this information is already enclosed the, on, on blockchain as well. Um, and yes, and uh, here you can just claim your email address with your multiple author. Now the um, our uh, UX, UI design and, and teams are trying to optimize it because it's very long. For example, generally, as a lot of like researchers and institutes in closing here is in, with the information. So um, I would like to, maybe here, I would like to just give a very uh, simple one, maybe like um, Tokyo. And you will check a lot of, a lot, lot of uh, universities as included. And uh, we go to the next one, maybe. Okay, it's 
and uh, you can flexibly select uh, different uh, Creative Commons. The Creative Commons will be automatically generated and enclosed in blockchain. And, and, but currently we only support these two because these two is open access standard, open access uh, license. So yeah, uh, yeah we'll go to the next one and we selected the network. Currently is the Ethereum test network. And in the future, we will embed the Polygon and Ethereum, which will be more economic if you use Polygon. Yeah, and uh, yeah, go to the next one and we submit it. And uh, your wallet will be for for the signature. And once the signature is confirmed, then currently our back end will help you to pay for the gas fee and it will automatically be uploaded and be shown here. So wait in a minute, it will be successfully uploaded. So that's the whole and uh, our whole um platform so from this onwards and uh, our future work will be more related to the embedded a lot of our university repository with the individuals researchers and you can freely um upload it your pre your preprints um as a, as a manuscript um and claim that is your own work and in future maybe you want to just uh, um put your papers or your your your, your research through publishing houses, you can just take this and show them that this is my own work. You can, you can effectively defend the plagiarisms and then copyright uh, confusion. Yeah, so that's the platform. So now here, what come today is that we hope to, um, collaborate with Design Tokyo and uh, hopefully we can build uh, our uh, design community together uh, with the early researchers be attracted in, uh, in the platform and using the open access and free um, prototype for uh, claim your valuable research uh, outcomes. So um, yeah, we, we start to build, create eight guilds for different disciplines. So that's our target in the future we may think we will attract different discipline researchers to put their uh, uh, very initial ideas and drafts on, the, uh, on this platform. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, here is uh, the, end, uh, the end of my presentation. So I give the URL QR code is for the pre-registration. If you're interested in using our prototype when we uh, officially launched our website, can just fill these forms and we'll just con contact you when the, the platform is ready. Yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you.